Okay, this is the video I promised you I was going to show you. <clears throat> Here's the trigger that I told you you got to push in for the door. <clears throat> or you ain't going to get this door open. <clears throat> Here's the walkway and entrance way like you wanted. Like I told you it has the diamond cut steps along with the door, the leather and everything. I told you it's got the leather all the way across with the different accents in it. There's the one chair as soon as you walk in the door. <clears throat> We're going to do a start up here real quick. Here's the main control area I told you about with all the knobs, the two big silver knobs. There on the far right you'll see a little crumbed area, that's the emergency shut off switch. <clears throat> We're going to start her up, she hasn't been started in about a week. So we're gonna do a quick start up on her real quick. <clears throat> All right. There she is. Nice and started. See if I can get in here on the odometer. It's 959. Uh, one over here is the air pressure it's just started so it'll run up to about 110 to 120 <clears throat> the oil pressure and everything's will build up as air pressure builds water temp I'll show you all this as we go <clears throat> I'll try and give you the best light I can here but here's the TV area with the stereo I told you about all the curtains how pretty all the seats and stuff is told you how it had the double cushion on it that's all strapped in and everything here's all the mirrors I go throughout the big trash can area here's one of the vents to come up through the floor like I told you back speaker area there leather accent in behind the seat here's some more speakers <clears throat> here's the bunk bed area here give me a second here I'm gonna come back and we'll get you some lights cut on back there so you can see Here's a rooftop air of the one. <clears throat> you get back here and I'll turn these lights all on for you. Full bed. Mattresses are all in beautiful shape. No cuts, nothing like that. Um, I don't remember if I told you or not, but underneath each bottom bunk, there's a piece of wood here. You can open up for some storage and things. Here's the other rooftop air. Back here's that master bedroom. Here's the area I was talking to you about. I'm taking this cabinet out right here. And that bench, if you wanted to put your bathroom in, um, it's full length. Plenty of room to do what you need to do there. Here's the other cabinet. Back here is the refrigerator and microwave. Let's see if I can get around here. <clears throat> um, the little porta potty I told you about, the L-shaped couch. Back here I told you where it was leather instead of wood, with the sink area and everything all in it. A little vanity mirror there if you want. Let's see if I can get a picture of this other TV. Ah. switch over here on the wall here's the emergency exit area I told you about if you ever needed to it's spring loaded gives you to the rear hatch all the seats 
seats and everything on both sides are all in great shape. <clears throat> all the windows have been tinted throughout. Over here, I'm going to give you a little light here. <clears throat> but over here was the area where we were going to put our stove. It's a real big area. Um, there's some of the uh, cords there to hook up for the stove. <clears throat> um, there's the other light off the in-house batteries I was telling you about. <clears throat> you got outlets throughout. I'll see if I can get a picture of some of the outlets for you. <clears throat> Let me see here. I might be able to if it's not too dark down there. But back over there is an outlet. I don't know if you can see that or not. <clears throat> um, here's some of that leather accent. I told you that's throughout the bus with the beautiful tan curtains. Here's the TV system I told you about with remote. <clears throat> Excuse me. The cabinet. Um, down in here is where I told you you could change from the in-house batteries to the regular generator. Right there's your two plug units. <clears throat> there's the original manual for the bus. Some excess leather there. Different things. <clears throat> this has got anything you want in it for the bus. Whatever you need. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> The gear shift when we got it was way, 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 way too long. So I went in and had it cut down so it's perfectly right at your hip like it needs to be. There's a speaker right behind the driver's seat there. Let me uh, see if I can get around to the little air slide switch here. Let you see. <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry. Get this air ride seat so you can see that it works. works beautifully nice and good for you <clears throat> um, back switch is your headlight this is uh, rear seat lights your fast idle um, the driver lights right here I take the light out because I don't really use it um, the fan I don't use because uh, you have a front defroster up here for high and low comes out of this little vent here and one over here that comes straight out towards the driver <clears throat> here's a hook up for the uh, uh, air ride horns and straight up here let me back up a little bit is the GPS system it's tied into this right here this wire right here is from the satellite that comes in goes down goes all the way throughout the bus full length and everything <clears throat> as you can see get back over here Let's see here air pressure starting to build up there um, here's the e-brake section. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Got a little cup holder there for the driver and everything like that. Um, these, all these seats turn in a full 360 degrees. Um, they lay right back. They move backwards and forwards. This here, you just grab. <clears throat> excuse me. Go through here. You can grab from the front and lay that down. All these rugs we just installed, we just put them in. Ran us over $100 throughout the bus. <clears throat> um, oh, up here's those lights I told you I was going to change out. To me, they seemed a little tacky. Um, I'm going to, just going to change those out to some regular wall lights. Um, but other than that, um, you can see throughout the video the new uh, pillows and stuff still in the plastic for the bus. And everything's been taken care of things like that um, like I said you got cabinets all over the place <clears throat> I'm gonna do an outside picture here so you can kind of see everything on the outside and that's just rising up <clears throat> here's those custom headlights I told you they were normally done and round that small little hole there and up there on the right there is where you take loose with a uh, bumper will fold down so you can do a uh, get to your spare tire as you can see all the rods have been replaced for the wiper blades it's got that custom design on it all the way across <clears throat> you saw the one side of it I think in the pictures but I'll try and show you the best of this side 
Um, here's those chrome caps I told you about. <clears throat> Real nice chrome caps. Uh, once the bus completely air rides up there, I'll try and turn the wheel so you can see that the tires are new. <clears throat> um, here's some design. Here's one of the bays. This is what I call our junk bay. There's nothing really in it. It goes all the way to the full length of the bus. Um, that's just some foam and stuff that I had laying there. Um, but I will show you how decent the bays are. You know, real nice and good. They just need a good sweeping. You know, no major rust or anything like that. They're good and solid, like I told you. Over there is the in-house batteries. Um, the charger's on the other side to the one bay. If I remember, I will try and get you a video of that. Here's the other bay where our equipment usually was. It's got carpet and stuff in it. it runs through in so uh, we can load our equipment. <clears throat> like I said, it's pretty good all the way through. Windows and everything. Back end, the other chrome uh, dual set of tires here. Um, you might be able to see, I don't know, I'll try my best here. They are all brand new tires all the way throughout on the inside. She is running, so if you can't hardly hear me, it's because I'm back by the thing, but you can see. No smoking, no nothing like that. There's the exhaust, the whole big custom tail end. Let's see if I can open this up for you. There's that emergency hatch door if you need to get out like I told you. All custom down with the paint and everything. Again, there's the tires. You can see it's raising up really, really fast. You see the access to the other base. Here's the generator. Like I told you, this was uh, uh, the steel on it right there and here for the handle. There's the generator all right there um, it's all latched up and behind a uh, uh, metal the base there is the swivel base I was telling you about um, inside there is the box and everything for the wiring throughout covered and everything <clears throat> I will uh, see if I can get that other uh, bay right here open and I'll show you the converters and everything Here's my tool rack I told you. It was right underneath the driver door. All right here's the driver's seat. See the steering wheel? Um, this is all the full driver's rack, everything. Right up there's the e-brake system. As you can tell, it's all been greased and everything. Here's a lot of the different tools, some tire chucks and things like that if you need them. I told you all the big sockets and stuff I have. Right there, like I told you, stamped right in the bay of the bus is the uh, VIN number. The PD 4106 2532. <clears throat> um, you see here, go back here, see if I can show you this front tire. Um, again, all brand spanking new, almost all the way around. I'll see if I can't turn the wheel here in just a second, show you that airbag. Um, let me get this bay unlocked over here, and we will get you uh, where the converter and things are. <clears throat> My wife's helping me out here. So, I'm going to have her unlock this for me. <clears throat> well, like you can see right here at the lower pace, all the lower body's clean. No major rust, no nothing. Really clean. <clears throat> you know, everything's in great shape. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up, and I'll show you where the 30 amp wiring and everything is. All right, here we go. Big box here in front, right here, is the inverter system. Right up above here is the charger. Like I told you, it's for the uh, in-house batteries. All right, here's your plug. Real quick, like I told you, hardly nothing to hook it up. 
this is your extra extension cord to run all the way through for the uh, uh, power box for the bus the big 30 amp wire to hook all the way in and everything uh, so there's all that like I told you <clears throat> great shape all the bay handles and everything are good as you can see I put all new locks all the way around you can go ahead and close that baby um, it's got the new mirrors um, these are real easy to turn you got a little allen wrench piece there once you turn it the way you want it tighten it up you're good to go but it pushes all the way out as you can see I don't know if you've seen the video or not all the marker lights are on where I fixed them and everything let me go back in here and see where our air pressure and stuff is oops forgot to get my knob I'll be jerking on that door for 20 minutes if I don't do that here's the new deadbolt I told you I'd put on let's see where we're at I think we've been running here about eight or nine minutes if I'm my calculator things right on my camera here as you can see she's already sitting there at about 110 oil pressure is beautiful it's not supposed to be more than right there at the first line on these buses the water temp it'll get up to maybe that first line and then it stops as you can tell everything's in good working order down here is the clutch pedal with your brights and stuff you're a classic car guy so you know uh, what those are uh, over here is your brake right here you hear the air kicking in your gas you hear that kicking in real good those knobs right there is for your wipers they all work beautifully let me see if I can get one of them to turn these on real quick as you can see works beautifully <clears throat> um, here is the air conditioning switch like I told you it's also the vent and the heater system I told you it has several different positions <clears throat> it's a total of uh, three or four way switch I can't remember I think it's I think it's four but it might be three here's the emergency switch <clears throat> this button right here is for when you want to go into reverse because reverse is just past second uh, straight back so you'll put straight in the first gear then put it straight into uh, you push this button and go straight all the way back into reverse works beautifully here's your e-brake set up so you're nice and good there let's kick this fast idle on you hear that kick on real good you can already see our air pressure's jumped up it'll build up real quick there <sighs> nice and good I'm gonna let my wife come up here real quick Shut that back off. And my wife come up here really quick and see if she can hit those air horns for us. Ooh, let me turn this wheel real quick. <clears throat> see if I can. <clears throat> yeah, give me a second. I'll turn that. I'll have her take the camera for me so I can turn that. <clears throat> I forgot. I got my tire chuck there. <laughs> Ain't turning much without the tire chuck being moved, huh? I don't need a tire chuck, but I always put it on there for extra precaution. Again, let me show you this side. You can hear some of the air horn there. All oh, the bottom there is in real good shape, like I said. Get you a little bit further. That little spot right there, those two little spots are the only thing on the body on the outside here. Other than that, she's in great shape for 64. I've tried to keep her clean and keep her maintenance and everything like that. See the big air horn in the satellite, hopefully you can. Yeah, there we go.